In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the eval function. So here I've got a program that will convert ounces to pounds. So all they have to do is just enter ounces. I've got a clear button that clears it. It clears both the message and uh, what's in the text box so that we can do it again. What we want to do is expand this so that somebody could add some several ounces together and then and then convert the sum of them. So notice that when I do that, it just uses whatever's there. It's not able to do the math and reports not a number as the pounds. So one way that I can fix this is to use the eval function. And the JavaScript eval function takes a, a string, which we always get a string from the text box, right? Whatever the input, whatever's input in the text box is a string. And that's what we're doing. We're getting that value in that text box. So the eval function takes a string and tries to convert it to math, or tries to do the math, convert it to a mathematical expression. And then it give, produces the results of that mathematical expression. So if I go ahead and get that value, from that text box and then I do the eval function on it, what it's going to do is try to evaluate it mathematically and produce a result. So let's see how that works. So now we do 23 plus 54 plus 16 and convert and it added that all up to 93 and, and then it did the conversion. So it worked out great for us. Now there's a couple of things to worry about when you do the eval function. So one of the, the eval function does one of two things. It either takes a string and tries to convert it to a mathematical expression, or it tries to execute it. So if I enter a command, a JavaScript command, it actually will execute it. So consider if I enter this statement, right? Notice it'll just be read in as a string, but notice that this is a JavaScript command. Now when they push convert, the val function actually executed. And my web page is gone. Now this is pretty benign. All it is is document.write, which just replaces whatever you have on your page with whatever the write told it to do. So it won't do much damage. But you can imagine there are JavaScript commands that could be executed and cause a lot of problems. So when you use the eval function, it's really important that you don't allow any input from a user to get fed to the eval function. And one way to stop that is actually in this text box, I'm going to set it to read only. So here I'm setting a parameter, the attribute read only, and you don't have to give it a value. You can say read only equals read only, but HTML5 no longer requires it. So the style, the preferred way to do it is to just put the attribute itself, and this will make it read only. Now, if I try to put something in this text box, so I try to copy paste in it, it won't work if I try to type in it. So I'm clicking on it, but it's not even showing up active. So now the only way that users can enter it is through these keys that I've programmed in to do certain things. So they can't make up things to put in there. It just has to respond to these keys that are in there. So now now it can do those conversions. So that's how you can use the eval function. Notice it can do multiplication as well uh, to evaluate something that is that a string that is sent to it that is more complex than just entering it.